What's going on everyone? My name is Q Shimon and I'm an ambassador for His Infinity Units. Today I'm going to explain to you how to use the Infinite Airbrush. This is a tool I really, really enjoy. Comes in this box. Nice packaging. Basically today just going to show you guys how to get your airbrush, set it up. Comes in, has your instructions, tells you a little bit about the unit. Comes in the box just like this. Comes with a couple of different pieces just so it can hold more liquid for you. Comes with this, this smaller one already attached to the gun. This is the airbrush. Comes with the little tube to Help you put solution in the unit it's not really necessary comes also with a USB charger port and that's all that remains in the air gun so basically comes these two pieces you're gonna take the airbrush and you're gonna put it on and screw it on This is the control here. This is the charger port. You match this, it gives you a steady stream of air. Okay, so when you first get it, it's probably gonna have, this is how you control if this is gonna move or not. So see, it doesn't move at all. So when you unscrew this, now it lets the trigger work. A continuous flow of air is gonna come out of here. You can hear it. What you'll do is put your solution in here. The solution isn't gonna come out of here, but the air is gonna continue to flow out. What's stopping the flow of the solution is actually back here. This is how you control that. There's a small pin inside. So you can unscrew this little piece here. And right now it's close close in or you can pull it out some in order for it to let the flow. Now if you take this too far out and lean it over the, the solution is going to come out of it. So you want to make sure that you do it just enough to where it's loose enough for when you pull the trigger back the air is going to come out. So now I'm going to add a little solution into this. Basically the solution that you can use is any temporary hair color. You're going to mix it with a little water because you want to thin it out just as well as you were doing model cars and you were using a paint. You want to make sure that you thin the solution out um, to a liquid, more liquidy solution. The solution coming from the temporary color is going to be a little too thick for it to come through the unit. So you want to thin that out and make sure that you add a little water to it. Next, I'll show you guys how to do that. Okay, by temporary color, I mean using a rinse, which comes in these type of bottles. This is one by Kiss Color. Um, Beijing makes one as well. You have Clairol, you have Adore. Whichever one is that's to your liking, you can just choose whatever color brand that you like. Um, I use all different types just because some of them will give me a solid black, some of them will give me a brown like I want, some of them, you know, if I'm doing something red, something um, burgundy, I can use those colors as well. So for me, I play around with mine. Sometimes if you get a black color and it's coming out a little green, what I do to make mine black, of course red cancel out green, I'll take a little red hair color, drop it in there, mix it in, and then that'll cancel out the green. Um, you can't add too much because then it'll make it more of that red, black, burgundy color. So you want to be careful with that. I just add a little drop in there just to cancel that out. So what I do is take a bottle of water. This is how I do mine. You can actually put the water in the actual drawer itself, put a little color in there and shake it and mix it. But for me, I like to go ahead and just have mine pre-made. I put a little water in there. I take my color, squeeze it in. And 
it's one of those things where it's really no correct measurement with it. You just want to make sure that the solution is going to be thin enough for it to go through the machine. So I'll just take mine, mix it. And I take it, pour it in the machine. I typically don't fill mine up either. Um, I just leave it at, at a at a point to where I, of course, I'm not using it all day, so I don't let it just sit in mine either. Once once I'm done, I don't let it sit in here. I don't typically try to fill mine to the top either. I just use what I'm going to use it for. Typically, something like this can last me at least five, six, seven clients, maybe even ten, because I'm not really using that much. I go between this and the uh, His Infinity Units fibers because this is gonna give you that structure that you're looking for and gonna be give you the pristine look that you're giving, but the fibers give it some weight. So sometimes I switch between, just depending on how full the person's corners are or their hairline, I'll go between using the spray to give me that defined look and the fibers if they need some a little weight to it or a little filling in some areas. So just play between the two. Um, for me, I use both of them sometimes, so um, that's definitely up to you. So, you want to put it in your solution. When you turn it on, you can see that nothing's coming out. So when I pull the trigger back, now you can see it's, it's coming out. And again, it shouldn't be coming out if your pin is adjusted correctly. So you're not you're not seeing it's coming out, but now when I open open the trigger, it's coloring. So that's really all to it. Simple. It's gonna stay on, it's gonna keep blowing. This is the product. I absolutely love it. You guys definitely should get you one. His infinity units. It's called the Infinite Abra. This is definitely a selling feature if you want to step up your game be able to charge more for your cuts because your detailing your enhancements are on point this is the way to go the infinite airbrush i also use the infinity units hair fibers as well i go between both of them just because they give me different things the fibers of course are going to give you a little more texture versus that giving you more of a matte finish if a person's hair is more fuller then sometimes i just use the airbrush um, typically if it's a little thin or, look, or, or I just need a little more um, texture or bulkiness I should say then I use the fibers as well with that just a mixture between the two all right so that was the infinite airbrush if you guys have any questions you can reach out to his infinity units on IG as well as you can reach out to me Q Shimon that's Q S H A M O N E on Instagram as well again it's about making money this is a tool that you can invest in that's going to bring more money into your pocket. You want to do things that's going to upsell your client. If you're looking to get away from those $15, $20, $25 haircuts, this is definitely the way to go. You want to add enhancements in there. Your Beijing, your Infinite Airbrush, your hair fibers, your hair color. Those things are building tabs. So that's what you want to do if you're trying to make more more money and become a six-figure stylist or a six-figure barber that's the way you want to go about doing it is upselling your clients sell products do those type of things these are all luxuries and that's how what you want your client to understand when they sit in your chair you're a luxury barber you're going to give them all the fine tuning and we're not even getting into the that facials the straight razor lines and all those type of things the clean shaves these are all enhancements that are going to put more money in your pocket and gonna at the end of the day make your client feel like you're the best barber on the planet that's what you want to keep them coming back again if you have any concerns questions reach out to us till next time